Hello, welcome to John's Bottle Making. Today we got Kit, yes, Knight Rider, the next four issues, 83 to 86. Excellent stuff. We've got a couple of wings to fit. That is one of them. Looking brilliant. There's the second. And then we got the inner arches, if that's what they call them. <laughs> I'm not sure what they call them, but they look like the inner arches anyway. So we can attach them onto that engine motor bay. Um, I've also had another look at the headlight that wasn't fully coming up and I've managed to sort that without ordering any new parts, which is brilliant. I've already tested it today. So there we go, brilliant stuff. Anyway, let's have a look at the instructions. Okay, now here we have issues 83. I hope there's a song list. Do you like a good song list? Episode 22, season three, Circus Nights. Where, uh, where is the song list? There's kits functions. That is always in. No song list. Oh, never mind. Stage 83. In this issue, you will mount the indicator light on the right wing of your kit scale model. Not a great lot to that, is there? There we go. And it tells us what we've already got. Excellent. Anyway, without further ado, let's get on with the build. Here we have issue 83. This is the right wing, of course. There we go. Those are the parts. So we have the right front wing, the right front indicator light, and base of right front indicator light and EM screws. These both have an air on them. There's an air there. That's an orange. And there's an air there. Excellent. Well, that wing does look in lovely, lovely order. Yep, that'll polish up brilliant, I think. No scratches on it. One or two little blemishes there. That one there. And there. I think that'll polish out anyway. Well, that looks brilliant. Right, let's get these into place. Need that like that. And that will go there like so. With the air facing us. And this will fit there, I believe. Just like that. Excellent. If you can see that. The light is shining. There we go. Brilliant. Get the M EM screws out. Okay, then well, let's get the first screw in. Brilliant. There we go. That looks really nice. Lovely jubbly. Okay, well, let's move on to issue 84. Okay, well, stage 84, issue 84, whichever. There we go. Season 4, the fourth and final season of Night Rider. There we go. Where is the music? It's got a list of all these the episodes. There we go, 22. Season 4 guide. But no music. Oh dear. Ah, stage 84. In this issue, you will mount the HUD and the right front wing with all its components on your kit scale model. There we go. So we get the air inlet cover, air inlet grill, right front wing support, and BPE MGM VM screws. Excellent. I need to put some oil in them pistons as well, but I think I've already done that because I was playing about with the bonnet for quite a bit. Put the bonnet on into place yep and then put the wing on and that is what we're left with excellent so without further ado let's get on with the build here we have the parts here we go those are all the parts so we got the wing support and a little bit of grill and its cover so i'm going to need the bp screws so we'll bring our wing back over and basically this does have a little air on it there, so we'll pop that in there, I believe. And then that will go there like so. So you can actually see it, which looks lovely. And then from this side, we need the BP screws into place. Two of. Okay, well, let's grab hold of that again. Um, this is the first BP screw. We can put the wing support on next, and we'll need the EM screws for that. There we go. Excellent. 
That looks nice and bonny. Lovely bit of detail. Excellent stuff. There we go. Now we need this piece and this will go over that post, that post and that post. Screw post there. Just like that. And we'll need the EM screws for this. As always, use a little bit of oil. It does help the screw to get into place. Excellent. That's as solid as a rock. Brilliant. Now we can pop this onto the car. Okay, so now we've got the car. We need the bonnet, obviously. And the hinges. There are two screws. One there, one there, one there, and one there. Um, the bonnet will just lay flat, hopefully. Like that. So we need to turn it over and pop in four screws. GM screws, two on either hinge to keep that in place. Okay, now we're going in the correct position. We get the first screw in here. There we go, that's all four screws in place. Secure them doors. Let's have a look at this. There we go. There we go, it is opening. Close it pretty quick. Another look, there we go. That's a bonnet. Doesn't fully stay open, so you have to adjust the screws on the hinges on the side. There we go, that's staying open now. Um, can we see there's a screw here and one here? Just tighten them up, they will stay open, and then it will close. There we go. I'm not sure if it's laying flat properly, that. No. It's flat at the back, but it's above this headlight, where it's level with that headlight. And so I'll have to have a look at that later. Anyway, let's get the wing on. There we go, so we need this right wing in position. There will be four screw holes for this, but it mounts on this side of the car. And there we go. That's how that situates, but you can see this bonnet here is proud. That light is concerned, even if I press it down, it doesn't go down far enough. Yeah. The bonnet is proud of the wing as well. Oops, it is. Okay, now we have two EM screws, one here and one here. Pop into place. Keep this wing nice and bonny. That's the EM screws in place. So now we, we need two VM screws at the back here. There we go. There you can see it. And the second is just here. And there she is. Move that round a bit. There we go, I think that's them two nicely into place. That is stage 84 complete. There we go, there's that um, wing in place. You can see it's a little proud here. That is, press that down there, it pops up at this far end. There we go. So that needs record, needs, uh, yeah, sorting next. I don't know, okay. Don't. Let's move on to uh, stage 85. Okay, dog, stage 85. Let's have a look, see if we've got a mixtape song list. Knights of the Juggernaut, part one, episode one, season four. And those kits functions, as always. Did you know? Where is my song tape list? Not again, no. Oh dear. Front wing and left indicator. There we go, EM screws. So just same as uh, issue 83. And then we'll pop the support on in issue 86. And I'll have a look at him doing anything else as well in 86. But there we go, we'll do the wing first. So without further ado, let's get on with the build. Here we have the parts. 
there we go those are the parts let's put our rag down and get this indicator in place it does have an l on it just so you can read it all the right way up you know you put the parts in the correct place the correct way i should say there we go i need two em screws I'll use the others that we've already opened up bit of oil on this as well and the paintwork is looking absolutely superb again there we go brilliant some mucky finger marks on it but that'll polish up beautifully no scratches that's the main thing excellent stuff right let's move on to the last issue stage 86 here we go stage 86 Night of the Juggernaut Part 2, Episode 2, Season 4. Ah, mixtape song list, there you are. We don't need another hero, Tina Turner. Excellent. Kits, functions. Yeah, brilliant stuff. And here we have the left front wing air intake and inner support. Oh, that's for the scanner, I believe. There we go, yeah. So we've got a cover for the scanner, so we'll put the scanner into place. So same as previous, get that support on. Get that uh, intake vent on and then put the scanner onto the car and then we can tidy up the cables but i think we can test this as well i'll show you the headline i'm sure it's fine now there we go and that is what we're left with excellent with the wing on of course brilliant let's get on with the build here we have the parts there we go those are the parts so there's that support again there it is that air intake there's the vent got a couple of cable clamps em bp am gm and vm screws and we have some adhesive tape as well but we don't need them at the moment we just need the bp screws okay no. same as before you have this little vent it's got an l on it you don't want that visible so I'll pop that down like that and then this bracket come over the top just like that you can turn that over and we get two bp screws there we go you can see that detail again excellent there we go okay now we'll flip that over and we need this support which will go on just there like so one two three em screws there we go that's that support in place excellent now we need the scanner we got the car back um, we can pop this onto the car okay now here we have the scanner and we need this tape off here and we need to cover it on there this shaped so that we can get it the right way around there we go finally managed it <laughs> let's get this into place I think this is just to stop any light bleed, I believe. There we go. That's not three bad. It's a little kink there and there, but that'll come out anyway. So that's to stop the light bleed. Brilliant. Let's get it on the car. There we go. Got the kinks out. Brilliant stuff. Okay, now we got the car back. Now the scanner. There is that bracket there uh, goes on to here with a GM screw and the two more holes here for GM screws through the wing. So basically that will go there and then we'll marry up the wing afterwards. So we need a GM screw with oil on it. There we go, that's that one in. Now we need to marry this up. There we go, that's a nice tight fit. And we get two more GM screws inside okay now let's get the first screw in oh, it's zoomed in as much as i can reposition the cameras it's done a, at an angle as well that as you can tell with the screwdriver okay now there is the scanner in place i think we need to test this now so i'll get the rest of the car
Well, there we go. That's a successful test. The headlights work. This one is fine now. Um, just need to get this other part of the wing on here now. And then we're away. Okay, well, next thing I need to do, now we've done a completed test, we can pop all these wires through here. We have a clamp here and a clamp here. And then we fish them through that little hole just there. So we'll pop all these cables through here. Like so. Make sure they come around here like that. There like so. And then we can get a clamp into place. With a 1am screw here. And one at the bottom. We'll get this one because we can pop the uh, other cables through the clamp as well. That's it. That'll hold them there nicely. And it's just a case of threading these through and through that hole. So I'll do this and I'll show you in a minute. There we go. I've threaded all them cables through now. It's just a matter of getting this second cable grip or clamp. It doesn't actually clamp them down. It just creates a closed area for them to pop through. There we go. That's the two clips in place. Now it's just a matter of tidying these cables up. There we go. That's the cables all nicely tucked out of the way. The tape there and the tape there. There's a screw hole here and here and here and here. So we'll just keep the cables away from that as best as possible because now we have to put the wing in place. Okay, well, now we've got the car on its side. Here we have one, uh, two, three, four screw posts. And there's two here on the bumper as well. So we'll make sure you get this cabling spot on. Because I can see this being a little bit awkward. All right, put that in there like so. And then, there we go, see that front bumper has come off. There we go. Now I did loosen that middle GM screw for the scanner. There we go. That should be nicely into place. Just to make sure nothing got trapped. It's here I'm more concerned about it. there and there. And them cables are fine. Excellent. Okay, now we've got it on its roof again. We got the first VM screw into place there is no cables around this one so that is good you can see the cables there beneath my thumb the scanner cable which is that one seems a little bit short for some reason but then again i think i'll be taking all this apart um, in the future because i've got to sort that bonnet out i'm going to get the second screw into place just here knit that together there we go, excellent. Now we need a couple of EM screws, one here and one here. Okay, let's get the first one in just here. There we go, now we've got a couple of GM screws down here for this bumper. Okay, well, let's get the first of these GM screws in. Just there. There we go. Excellent. I'm having to hold it like this to keep it in place because we've already screwed one end in. Better if you uh, loosen the other screws, really, I think. There is the second one at the bottom there. That one hasn't found his mark. Okay, I've finally got that screw in down here. I have had to take all the other screws out just to get that positioned. It was just running round and round and round just making the edges round <laughs> there you go see the second one's in and i just need to get this other side back into place but that one down there where the wiring is concerned yeah it's very awkward take all the other screws out and put that one in first excellent so there we go that's all them screws into place let's flip this right over there we go excellent all them cables are through see nice and flat here and it looks nice and flat there. But look, press that down there. Rocky. That is issues 83 to 86 complete. Now I'm going to give it another test. 
Okay, that one final test. Excellent. Well, there we go, folks. That is it. That is 83 to 86 complete. Looks nice and bonny there. It needs a polish, obviously. Uh, but the bonnet, yeah. Seems to lie flat here now, but it's up here. Uh, yeah, you can just a bit see it there. It doesn't lie totally flat. So I think uh, the engine bay mount is uh, the issue here. You know. That's rocky because it was very difficult getting it into place when I, when I first got it. Well, um, I think it was last month I did it, put it into place. Very, very difficult. But everything else seems to line up. The wings are lined up all right. Um, the scanner's in place fine. Obviously, there was that one screw <laughs> right at the bottom. You better have just putting that one in first, like I said. And I did manage to find an extension for the scanner cable. Because otherwise, it was way too short. Um... But there we go. That seems to be working fine. Doesn't stay up on its own straight away. Like that you have to adjust the screws on the hinges. Um, but once you've adjusted them, it's fine. But once you put it back down again, and you bring it up, it doesn't stay up. You have to adjust them again, which is a bit annoying. I think they could do some uh, Loctite on them on them screws because they're obviously moving. But it is looking beautiful, I must admit. But a little bit annoyed. And that bonnet there it just rocks a little bit there we go i'll show you again press it down there it pops up here press it down there there you see and i think it's that engine mate but we'll wait and see i'll get it ordered and we'll see what happens so either that i've got a twisted bonnet which uh well it's just been sat there for months and months on end not doing anything but there we go Issues 83 to 86 complete. Yeah, black does show everything as well. It does need a good polish, that brilliant stuff. Anyway, that is it for Night Rider this month. If you did like that, give us a big thumbs up. Subscribe, hit that notification bell. And I'll see you next time for the next build. Hopefully, with the U-boat. Thanks for tuning in and watching. Stay safe. Bye for now.